Hello everybody, it's Pickle Time. And boy do I have the news for you. I don't I didn't want to believe it, and and I kinda of still don't believe it, but I might have to. We'll see. Bossman Jack may or may not be in a mental facility right now, as we speak. I say may or may not because this is the internet. So far the only proof we have is a call from a rat that got in touch with Rat Dad. And that's how he got the info that he may or may not be in a mental facility. I will personally name this the Schrodinger's Crackhead. Th that's Austin right now. He is both uh, in his room getting high on crack and also be locked up in a loony bin. Okay, so now to set the stage, the author, the, the, the source of this call reached out to me on Discord. Uh, we shall name him TJ Rat God, previously known as TJ Trap God. He actually reached out to me, which made my life easier because I planned on reaching out to him to get uh, get some info from him directly. This person has previously called both Rat Dad and Austin, and he, he provided some source material to help prove to us that his calls are real and this one is real as well. Let's have a listen. Well, I come in the room. Come see me, replay. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm we're in Ohio. Just come, Hello? Can you come over? What? Can you come in here, Dad? I'm not in the house. I'm in Ohio. What's the matter? Okay. What's the matter? I just won two hundred grand. Wow, Austin. Hey, um, have you taken care of crap yet? How can I save this, though? How can I not? I, mean, I got to figure out how to not lose it. Well, uh, you need to figure out how to transfer it over to your bank. Don't I don't go through that. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna buy something nice, Dad. I'm gonna, gonna, to. I'm gonna go ahead. To. I'm, I'm gonna transfer fifty thousand of it right now. It don't take three days. It says. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. I'll talk to you later. All right. Bye. Okay. So that was Rat Dad being informed by, by this rat, uh, posing as Austin. That he Austin had just won two hundred thousand dollars. You guys remember back in Shuffle on his first day in Shuffle, and I'm gonna give you this next one. Uh. <laughs> Um, if, if you required any more proof that Bossman is not acting, this is not an act, this is not a role, this is him. What you see on stream is him in real life as well. So Mr. TJ Ratgod here calls Austin again. I say again because I, I, I saw his screen capture. He had made multiple calls to him. Borderline harassment, maybe? I don't know. I'm not the judge. But uh, there's a lot of them. That might explain why Austin sometimes complains that he is being harassed by, by trolls. Anyways, let's see how he acts uh, while getting a call from a rat. Yeah. Hello. Hey. Hello. Hey. Who is this? It's your dad. Bro. Oh, you're a weirdo. You're one of those weirdos, dude. It's going to be yeah. okay, buddy. Listen, if you ever want to get help and need something that you need help with, I'm actually willing to help you with it, man. We can maybe help hey, you. Hey, I trust you if you... But if you come in and call me over some learn bullshit, trying to make me feel like I'm of a person, you need to get a fucking grip on your life, bro, because I've done nothing wrong to you. Huh? You there? What happened? There? No, I thought you disconnected. I was talking and you no. suddenly disconnected no. like your internet cut off. I'll no, say it again. No. I've done nothing wrong to you, so for you to come at me trying to make me feel bad makes you a fucking loser, bro. Do you have anything to say about that? Is it true or is it not true? I do. I just want to know the quickest way to speedrun getting banned from Twitch. How to get banned from Twitch. Well, yes. I'll tell okay. you what. Do not have your mom come over again. Because I didn't even know my stream was running. And she came into my room butt-ass naked. Her tits were out. I said, babe, my stream's on. She said, what? She like, had her boobs hopping around and shit. I was like, babe. He's my strings on. And she said, oh, my God, do you want me to bend over and show my ass to your boys? I said, yeah, bend that ass. Smack that ass a few times. You fucking dumb bitch. Who do you think you're talking to? 
Oh, that pussy nice boy. <laughs> there you go. Th this is what you can expect if you're trying to interact with with boss man, one on one. Uh, which which I have to say about that. Like I said in the previous video, don't do what this guy did. Don't touch the poop. All right. Don't do these sorts of things. Don't go harass Austin. His life is bad enough. I do not condone such actions. The only reason I'm covering these calls is because they're they're relevant to the rumors that have been spread about Austin. All right, now that I got you guys all warmed up, here is the call the TJ Rat God allegedly had with Rat Dad that allegedly proves that allegedly Bossman Jack is allegedly locked up in a straight jacket in a psych ward. Allegedly. Hello? Is Austin okay? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, he hasn't been he hasn't been talking for like two days. Just making sure he was all good. Oh, I thought I thought I thought it was Andrew. No. Yeah. Oh, okay. Josiah. Yeah. Well, no. he he is in a he is he's in a facility. Actually, he's in okay. A, well, that's probably best. You know. Yeah, and not not jail. Actually, a a mental facility. Just try to keep. Don't tell anybody. Please. Okay. We haven't even just told it all. Yeah. Just, yeah. Okay. Uh, just, yeah. If you would. All right. Yeah. Well, he was acting. He was acting. No. He was acting kind of crazy, and and uh, for the past few days, he's been acting pretty off. So. Yeah. Uh, and then he, and then he uh, was trying to slap me around a little bit. <laughs> so. Yeah. Having uh, one of those days. Yeah, and so we yeah. we uh, we did what we thought we needed to do, you know. Yeah. So I think that's a very mature decision. Yeah. So, well, but uh, anyway. hopefully you'll get some get some help and and uh, get him on the right meds and that'll 100%. that'll work for him. So yeah. Yeah. So are you going out? You going out in the morning? Yeah, I or, think so. Are you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, you got to try it out before you you go out, but in the dark, especially, you know. You got to try that thing yeah. out before you do something like that, because they are dangerous, but I, I used them for years. But uh, and I've been uh, itching to use it. Yeah. yeah. You just use those yeah. steps to go up and, and then put the stand on and uh, and then kind of push it down while it's, while it's closed. Push it okay. down. I've been watching a lot off. of videos on it. Yeah, push it, push it all the way down, and then then put the seat down, and it kind of just anchors it right in there. Uh, and it works great. It's just as solid, at least when I used it, as solid as a rock. And then I, you got to wear a safety belt. You got to do that yeah. because uh, um, you know you don't fall out of the darn thing. And yeah. see, I well, fell out. I fell. I fell out of one. Uh, a while oh, did ago. you? Uh, yeah, yeah. I slipped. My foot slipped off the thing, and uh, when I was up trying to put the stand on, you yeah. know, that, at that point, uh, I said, "That's it. I need to stop doing this." Because, you know, when I was when I was hunting with it, I was younger and a lot, whole lot lighter than I am now. You know. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> You, you you'll be fine you'll be fine but uh and i went to la i went to ladder stands probably a lot of people yeah. use a, a climber like a summit climbing stand is probably the better one the best one of the best yeah. ones out there uh, well, we'll see three, we'll see how it goes 300 bucks that, that'll work fine and you have a little seat there and you know the thing's very light seven and a half pounds i think and uh mm. so it's a very light stand and it's very yeah. solid once you get it in there and anchor it in there. That's what the way you got to do it. You got to latch it on there while it's all set up like that the way it is now, and just and then tight that that ratchet strap as tight as you can, and then push it down, uh, yeah. push it down, and then then open it up, and then it just just anchors it right in there. Uh, and it it it'll be solid, very solid for you. So. But good luck. At, well, try good it out. out. Try it out. Okay. I'll let, I'll let on, the ground, on the ground sometime. <laughs> not not while you're yeah. up in the tree. Yeah, uh, for sure. So, yeah. 
All right. All right, Josiah. Well, good luck. Thank you. Hey, All thank right. you for that for that uh, uh, cutting board. That's the thing. Beautiful. Uh, yeah, no problem. I figured you guys would like it. it. Oh my gosh! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's it's very nice. You do beautiful work. Yeah. Thank you. All right, buddy. Take right. care. Yes, sir. You have yeah. a good one. You too. All right. Bye bye. So there you have it, folks. If this call turns out to be true, which it might, it would make sense. We have not heard anything from Bossman for over two days now. The past times that this happened, we then find out that he has been put in jail. I think if he was in jail this time, we'd have we would have known by now. So it's either this call is true, and he's now somewhere that he can get medicated and actually get help, or we don't know what is happening. At first, when I heard this call, I was very very skeptic of it especially with a part of just red dad casually saying yeah just he just slapped me around <laughs> that felt sus to me that somebody would react like that to to just casually talking to someone else about their own son hitting them but i mean i mean the voice sounds real right and then they go on and talk about uh some boomer hunting stuff if this is the real Rat Dad, he comes off as really chill and cool dude, even. It's it's really a tragedy that he has the son that he has. Although, to be fair, he probably had a hand in how he turned out. So yeah, like I said, I'm quite the skeptic type, so uh, until we get confirmation from a facility that says, Yep, Austin is here with us getting help, only then will we be sure that that this call is real. So, take this with a grain of salt. We still don't know for sure what is going on with Austin, but still, I wanna thank TJ Ratgod for reaching out and providing these calls to me. I also wanna shout out Colonel Rat, not to be confused with Colonel Rat. And uh, they, they actually have their own channel now, so uh, go give them a sub. We, we rats have to stick together. So what do you guys think? Do you think it's real? Do you think it's fake? Do you have your own theories about what is going on with Austin? Let me know down in the comments. I want to hear what you rats have to say. And if you enjoyed the video and enjoyed having the, the, the Bossman Jack news, don't forget to drop a like. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll catch you guys next time.